Quora is the new hub of many of the internet's questions. And with over 300 million users, it holds a ton of information about what people want to know. Therefore, you might be interested to scrape data from Quora to uncover insights about the market, your industry, your target audience, and more. We are Parsub, and today, we'll go over how to scrape data from Quora using a free web scraper. You'll then be able to extract all the data as a CSV or JSON file. In order to complete this project, we'll use Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper that can work with any website. Make sure to download Parsub for free before getting started. The link is in the description. Furthermore, we'll be scraping questions and data from the YouTube community space. Now it's time to start setting up our web scraping project. First, install and open Parsub. Click on New Project and enter the URL for the page you will be scraping. In this case, we'll be scraping Quora's YouTube Trends community. Once submitted, the URL will render inside the app. A select command will be created by default. Start by clicking on the first question on the page to select it. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it's been selected. The rest of the questions on the page will be highlighted in yellow. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to question. Now click on the second question on the page to select them all. They'll all now be highlighted in green. We can now extract more data from this page. Let's start with the number of answers for each post. Use the plus sign next to your question selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first question on the list and then on the number of answers under it. An arrow will appear to show the association you're creating. Rename your selection to answers. Expand your answers selection by clicking on the icon next to it. Delete the URL extraction under your answer selection since this data we've already extracted. We'll now extract even more data from Quora. Now let's tell Parsup to click on each question on the page and extract more data. Start by clicking on the plus sign next to your question selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page button. Click on no and name your new template to question page and click on the green create new template button. The page for the first question on the page will now render inside the app and select a command will be created by default. Use the select command to extract any additional data you want from this page. In this case, we'll extract the name of the top answers author. We'll do this by clicking on it. Rename your selection to author. To extract more data, click on the plus sign next to your author selection and choose the relative select command. Then use this command to click on more data to extract. We'll also extract the date on which the top answer was posted. Rename your new selection to date. Parsub is now extracting the data we selected from the first few questions on the questions page. The page uses infinite scroll to load more questions. So we'll set up Parsub to load and scrape more questions. First, use the tabs on the left side bar of the screen to return to your main template. Then use a the browser tab to return to the main question page. Click on the plus sign next to the page selection and click select. You'll need to select the main element to this page. It should look like this. Let's rename the selection to scroll. Once you have the main div clicked, you can add the scroll function. On the left side bar, click on the plus sign next to the main selection. Click on advance, then select the scroll function. You'll need to tell how long the software to scroll. Depending on how big the thread is, you may need a bigger number. But for now, let's put it to 5 times and make sure it's aligned to the bottom. Now drag the scroll function to the top of the page just before the page command. Your project should now look like this. It's now time to run your scrape job and extract all the data you selected. Start by clicking on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you can test, schedule, or run your web scraping project. In this case, we'll run it right away. Parsub will now go and scrape the data you selected. Once your scrape is completed, you'll be able to download as a CSV or JSON file. You now know how to scrape data from Quora with a free web scraper. We know projects can get quite complex. If you run into any issues during your project, reach out to us via live chat on our site and we'll be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching this video. 
Check us out at parsup.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.